Hey guys, so I'm going to make some MTG Finance videos and I don't particularly like making MTG Finance videos just because I've had a very bad experience on my other channel and even if you get a card correct, people are going to be like, oh well you got the card correct because you were hyping the card up then if you got the card correct and you didn't own any copies of it, people will say, oh you're you know fake or something and then if you did own a lot of copies of it, it's because you are self-interested in promoting it. So even if you get something like Elspeth, right? Elspeth was really good, Voice was very good, and Archangel was also very good. But none of those speculations, it just makes, there's no way that you can look, you, you don't look amazing making those speculations. That being said, I haven't noticed anyone really making MTG finance videos on YouTube on standard. I do feel like you guys ask me that like almost every day. And so for this week, we are going to try it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Anyway, we're gonna go do modern. We'll do standard. We'll just do modern and standard. I really don't have any interest in legacy right now, so I'm not gonna do it. So we're gonna do hot and we're gonna do cold. So for the cold part, I guess we'll start with cold first. Colagon is the dragon lord that is seeing the least amount of play. It is not as good as the other dragon lords in my opinion, even Dromoka is better. Uh, it is going down in price. I don't like it as a speculation, except in foil, he is just not that good. 6-5 uh, Flying Haste, other creatures you control have haste, but like you're playing a dragon deck, what dragons at that point do not have haste? The card is not the strongest card in my opinion, so it will be in code. The other card I want to talk about, which is kind of surprising, is Tassiger. Tassiger is $6 right now, he has dropped, he sees a lot of play. And that's why I say it's kind of surprising. He sees play in Modern, he sees some play in Legacy. He He's so good that in Modern, people play this other task, pseudo Tassiger, which is like, what's it called, like Angler or something? And that Angler foil was like $4. And that's crazy, right? But Tassiger is $6 right now. I don't know what's happening to his price. I can only speculate that a lot of it He's been open quite a bit, and because he's a non-mythic, he's relatively easy to get. I don't know if I want to go into Tassiger right now. I'm not sure, but at 6 or $7, he seems extremely low given the amount of play he is. But I would say stay away from him a little bit. And the last card, <laughs> the Ujate's Command, or Ujute's Command, depending on... I'm sure somebody will leave a comment below to tell me how to pronounce it. Anyway, this card is not good. It is not valuable. It is overhyped as the pre-release promo. It just isn't good. Like the picture is pretty cool. I, I do enjoy the picture, but I believe the regular one is two, three dollars, maybe four dollars. And the promo foil is also two to three dollars or maybe four dollars at most. This card was trading extremely well at pre-release. People felt like this would be the command would magic. So Wizard of the Coast does a semi good job picking promos as buy box promos. I feel like they have missed on this one. They have missed on Adulon of Blossoms. They have missed on, uh, what was the last one? Shamanic Salmon. We, the one that was supposedly the uh, card draw in green, they missed on that card as well. A uh, ton of different cards that were buy box promos that I feel like they missed. Uh, and the only one that comes to mind in standard that they hit on would be Goblin Rabble Master. This card, in my opinion, is a miss. I don't feel like it's going to see any play. I like the card. Don't get me wrong. I like the card. I absolutely love Tassiger. I love this particular command. It just has plummeted in price. Like there's no other way for me to say. It. I mean, I could say, oh, this is good. We should buy it. 
But that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying this is bad. It's going down in price. It's not me predicting it's gone down in price. It's the fact it's already gone down in price. So, Tassica at $6 is really crazy. This might be an opportunity. I, I definitely want to stay away from Colagon, especially non-foils, and or Jirte's Command, or Jirte's Command. Tassica, however, it hurts me to put him in the not good pile, but his price has definitely plummeted. Uh, recently and I don't see I can see him being five dollars maybe even four dollars before he picks up his price which is insane given the amount of play he sees but a six dollar tassigram I mean that's what his price is right now it, you cannot argue that he's not six dollars